I'm at the top of Texas. Where are you? Welcome to Texas, baby. One of the best parts about traveling is you escape deadlines and time just goes on. Traveling can be so peaceful, but on the contrary, it can be so stressful. And today, sadly, traveling was stressful, mainly because we were going to be camping at a campground that was first come, first serve. Meaning, we had to drive from New Mexico to Texas and beat out all the crowds. That's like a four hour drive. It's time to hit Texas. Hopefully my lens is clean. Hopefully we can camp at our spot, because I don't know if we can. Luckily, we arrived at Guadalupe National Park just the nick of time. It was a miracle, honestly. It really was a miracle. After a stressful car ride through Texas, after using rocks as mallets to hammer down a tent, we've made it to our campsite. We actually got a spot. I'm shook. I'm hot. I'm thirsty. Anyway, we were relieved. But we had no time to waste. We couldn't take a rest. It was time to go to another national park. I told you this was a fast-paced trip. Got Carlsbad Caverns. It is another state park. National park, sorry, I was getting confused. 40 minutes away sits Carlsbad Caverns. A land of limestone chambers, stalactites and stalagmites, and long twisty tunnels. I plan to spend the heat of the day in a nice cool cavern. I'm a genius, right? I'm not gonna lie, my trip planning skills are top tier. This feels more adventurous, you know? This girl on her adventures. So I couldn't really vlog in the cave because you're supposed to, you're supposed to speak quietly because it echoes, it echoes. And it's really dark, so it's very hard. However, these pictures I took can kind of show how majestic it is. You just have to go to experience it for yourself. The cave provided cool shade and mystic sights, but more importantly, it inspired Hannah to take upon a new career path. It was an adventure because there's so many secret caverns that probably are still unexplored and I would love to be the one to explore them. So please hire me National Geographic. That's not who would do those probably. We made it back to our campsite to begin our ascent to Texas's highest point. are doing our hike. It is very bright out here to make sure my trail. It's so hard to do everything at the same time. Top of Texas, here we go. Are you tired? Are you going to take off your makeup tonight? Probably should. should In the cabin water. And you can tell from these clips that Miss Asthma, she made an appearance, a debut. You can just hear my wheezing in the background. It's really embarrassing. Besides having eight of the 10 tallest peaks in Texas, Guadalupe has sand dunes, forests, and canyons. It's basically Texas's hidden gem, and it's one of the lesser visited national parks in the US national park system. Don't go visit it, it's underrated. Hannah began to get annoyed with my slow pace up the mountain. Didn't say that, but I have asthma. Okay, stop, stop. Nice, we're getting close, close to the top. I'm thirsty. As we began to get to the top, my thirst levels were rising. I was parched like the desert. But without much drama, we made it to the top. The landscape was so wild and weird, it almost felt like we were on another planet. The aliens had finally abducted me. And boy, did I like it. I'm at the top of Texas. Where are you? Ow, it's burning. Hey, we made it to the top of 
Texas. We interrupted some guy having a peaceful reflection up here with sad music going. It was really awkward. But hey, we're here and we're queer. So yeah. It better not rain or else we might die. I ruined the night. All because of that little comment. I jinxed myself because of that little comment. Pambi found me after how many years? So I came down the mountain and this time I was ahead of Hannah because I'm literally the downhill queen. Like no one can stop me when I'm going downhill and I'm not even exaggerating. I fly down the side of mountains even when there's chucks or rocks and big boulders in the way. It's like my main personality trait. And if you don't believe me, Venmo me, a plane ticket to wherever you are, then we'll go to a trail and I'll show you. My lips are reach out. I did a meditation class last semester, and let's just say for like one second, I, I, it was like dead quiet in here. I was like, I need to meditate. That would, this would be so good to meditate. So yeah, I need to start meditating again. The further down we went, the more I could tell there was impending danger on the horizon. I realized our small two-person tent, which was more like a one-person tent, would not survive the violent skies approaching. I tried to get footage of the lightning, but it was not happening, because every time I turned the angle of the camera, the lightning would strike where I just panned away from. So I gave up, and I ended the eight-mile hike. I think it's not gonna lightning guys, so no more lightning watch. No more lightning watch. Which I might add we did in record time. I read it would take about six hours to do. It only took us four. I call that talent. I call that talent. And I did it with asthma. I call that talent. However, our record breaking night could not spare us from the horrible, horrible, horrible camping we are about to endure. So it's the next morning after that hike. We got back down, it was all good. We are like, you know, it might rain. And then it started to dr uh, rain a little, but it was nothing. But then in the middle of the night, it, it was Hurricane Katrina up in Texas. And my sleeping bag was soaked, I was freezing. Hannah went in the car. It was, it was a mess, but we're here, we made it. Just every day's been a little, a lot. This was our adorable. Campsite. It was cute until it rained and ruined it. Somehow, the violent night before brought Hannah and I together in an unprecedented way. We put away the tent together as a team. It was quite refreshing. We were ready to embark on our final adventure together to another national park full of culture and mystique. Tune in next week to find out which one. Do you guys have any guesses? Guadalupe and Carlsbad. Well, not really Carlsbad, but they, they challenged us. Guadalupe challenged us. From the 3,000 feet of elevation change, hiking to the top of Texas, to the sleepless night where we had no time to recuperate. It was a lot. It was a lot, guys. Still, all the drama, the wet sleeping bags, even the wheezing was worth it. Camping and hiking just inevitably comes with things that can hamper your trip. And you can either choose to let it hamper your trip or as a moment to have more patience, gratitude, and pride. Sure, it would have been more enjoyable to have actually felt my lungs on an easier hike or to have slept dry in a nice hotel, maybe have a bubble bath or two. But persevering through all the pain helped me see an elevated version of myself that I realized deserves a throne on top of Guadalupe Peak. And that is something no bubble bath could have taught me. I know it takes the world, don't be afraid of a little elevation. I'll see you on my next National Park adventure coming to you next week. It's another adventure.